Hello, my friends. I am so excited to talk to you right now. Um, first, I have to make sure you can hear me and see me. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to my Facebook page and wait for someone to comment to tell me that they can see me and or hear me. Uh, and then I'm also going to share this out to my groups because this is very, very important. Very important. The front row. And I'm going to say important. And I'm also going to share it to my private groups. My little course VIP. Important. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to wait just a couple of seconds. Check here. See, make sure you can hear me and see me. And then we will get to it. Let me know if you can hear me or see me. Do, do, do. Is everybody having a good Sunday? I hope so. I sure am. It's beautiful outside. Um, I see we've got a couple of viewers. I'm just waiting on feedback that you can hear me and see me. Maybe I'll just hit play and I'll see for myself. I see we've got a couple of viewers. Okay, uh, you can hear me and see me. All right, so let me just, um, let me jump right in. Now, what I want to talk to you about is this. First of all, I think we can all agree that you have to have a course. I'm not selling anything today. I'm just going to give you something huge. So you know you need to have a course, right? So you may be thinking, I don't, I don't have a course in me. And what would my, what, what would I make a course about? Trust me, everybody has a course inside of them, something you can teach. But as you may know, if you've been following me for any amount of time, I have been really loud about the fact that I think many courses, little courses are the way to go for a million different reasons, mainly to, um, to get yourself out there, to get your name out there, to build visibility around your brand, to build up your email list so that you can create an online business. That's the short answer. Okay. Now there's a million different ways to promote it. And that's what people, uh, typically enroll in my courses for is, is to learn how to promote in the simplest, most efficient and powerful way possible, right? Like how to get their stuff out there. I ran across something yesterday that pretty much blew my mind. And I want everybody to get on this bus and I want you to stop what you're doing and I want you to make this a priority. Whatever it is you have on your agenda for third quarter or for first quarter as, as, as the new year approaches, I know we're all be busy making our plans, I really want you to incorporate uh, this into your into your um, schedule because it's so important. And I know you're just like, get on with it already, Jennifer. All right. So uh, let me share my screen and show you what it is that I am talking about. Um, let me just do this screen capture. Okay. Okay. You should be seeing my screen. And first, what we're going to do is go to the, um, we're going to, oh, I had this bookmarked. Oh, wait, I know where it is. Hold on. Did I do it in Safari? Give me two seconds. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go to iTunes. Okay, let me go to iTunes. Hold on. I uh, wait. Is iTunes? iTunes. Hey, Jan. Um. Okay. Here we go. Let me make this big. What you were looking at here in the uh, iTunes store is if you look in the upper left hand corner you will see iTunes U okay and of course that means iTunes University okay 
And these are all courses um, that are on here. And as far as I can see, these are all uh, free courses. So you might be saying, okay, I see where you're going with this, Jennifer. You're telling me that I need to put my course over here on iTunes. Um, but why would you do that? And that's a good question. Let me just grab, let me just grab something randomly. This one is, um, and a lot of these, by the way, are like done by uh, like schools like Harvard and I mean, uh, what's this one? Uh, University of Texas at Austin. Um, a lot of these are produced by universities, not like people like you and me. Okay. So let me click on business and see what pops up. Okay, there's lots and lots and lots, but you'll notice that they have standout courses and collections. They also have new and notable, which is the same thing that podcasts have, right? What they have, when you go to iTunes to look at podcasts, it lists like top courses, new and notable, etc. Now, if you want to put your course on um, iTunes University, and why won't it let me, there we go. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the back end, okay? So you're going to see here that I have two courses, Twitter for Business and How to Hire and Train a Virtual Assistant. I have not actually put any content here, but it took me all of four minutes to start setting this up. So I'm going to show you how you could create a little course inside Apple and why you want to. So the reason why you want to do this, let me come back to you for a moment. Because uh, I need to look you in the eye when I say this. The reason you want to do this, oh my God, it's so exciting, is that you, this, now this is all about a little course. I don't want you to put your paid course on here for free. No, 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 no. But what you're going to do is put your free little course, your lead magnet on there. And the thing is, you, there is no turnstile. So you're not going to get their email addresses. As far as I can tell, like when I looked, I scoured through this last night. It doesn't look like there's any way that you're actually going to be able to capture their email addresses and you're not going to be able to charge them anything. So you're like, what the heck? Why am I going to do this? Because it's so easy. You're going to have your little course set up on Teachable and wherever it is, New Kajabi, wherever you have your course, keep it there, your, your free course your little course, you're just going to upload whatever content that you put over there in that membership site over into iTunes. It's because they're going to market it for you. Look at all, um, if you get all your content up there, ask, ask, send it to your email list, let them know that it's there, ask them to, to sign up for it and leave you a few reviews and watch what happens. You know, it's very easy when you do a podcast, if you follow a certain recipe, to get your podcast listed in new and notable. So that's number one. Like they're going to get in front of the right people for you. They're going to build uh, an audience for you. You're going to be able to get your name, your, uh, your, your topic, all that good stuff out into an audience that super cold audience that you would never reach inside your world necessarily, okay? But secondly, within that course, you can put whatever you want. So in that course, you're going to talk about where they can go to get on your list for this particular freebie or that particular freebie, or you're just going to give them a little taste of what you've got, okay? And something good though, like something that brings them a win. And on the last module, you're going to say, what's next? Well, what's next is a link that is going to take them to your bigger offering, to your bigger course. It, this is just a no-brainer. This is something you have to do. Um, if you have a little course, every you just have to do this because it's like copying and pasting. You're just going to copy and paste. You're going to, you already created your videos or your cheat sheets or your PDFs. All you have to do is go over to, to iTunes and upload it. Um, hey, Donna, I see that you just joined us. All right, so let me go back to um, sharing my screen and I'm gonna, we're just gonna go through a few of the steps of setting up your course inside of iTunes, okay? So let's go here where it says create a course. And I'm gonna say test for Jen's peeps, short name test, department. I thought this was kind of fun. You can have like, we'll call this the media department. 
um, I've already set up my institution is Jen Lehner uh, Digital Media. And for category, I'm going to choose Professional Vocational. I'm going to choose English. Category is going to be um, Business. No communications and media for me, but you notice there's several that you could choose from. And then my subcategory is going to be Digital Media. And then I'm going to add a description. This is my awesome description. Notice that you can add links into this description. You can add bulleted lists. I don't see a way to add a picture, but, um, but you can add a whole bunch of words and you can format it. We can make this bold. Whoops, bold. All right. Course type, is it self-paced? Is it self -paced? Or is it in session? Like, do you have a start and beginning date? Ah, oh, how cool is this? Okay. Then um, licensing. I didn't know what this meant, so I just chose all rights reserved. It sounded right to me. All right. Now, oh, and then image. So let's add an image. Whoops. Um, let's see. We'll just do this one. You can zoom in, zoom out, okay, click done. All right, now I'm going to click save. Please complete the required fields before saving. Oh, self-paced, okay, save. Okay, now it's saving. Hi, Tara. Okay, um, course manager had an error. Click reload. Okay, it wants me to start all over, which I'm totally not going to do. So I'm going to pick up where I have set, I've started to set up these other two courses, okay? So, for example, Twitter for business, okay? So there's a place to write about yourself, like who the instructor is. Then you can paste an outline here, type or paste an outline. Um, then these are, these are titles that I came up with. What you'll need, setting up your profile, who to follow, what to tweet, la la la. I'm going to add a new page here. Um, and then if I click on materials, uh, I don't know why it's telling me that there's, hold on. Let's look over here to the right. Um, what's new about course manager, create a course, my materials library. So this is where everything you upload is going to be there. Okay, so PDFs, video, etc. And again, this costs you nothing. Absolutely zero. So for sure, all the people who are my students in my little course, um, I mean, I would almost tell you this is mandatory. There's absolutely no reason why you would go through all the, all the motions of creating this, your fabulous little course, and not put it over here as well. Um, Let's see. Let me show you some of those other cool things that are on the right-hand side. Okay. Um, let's see where it says share a course. When you're ready to share your course, you can choose enroll code. Um, oh, that's the other thing. When people um, enroll, you can, like, you get notified and then you... You, it, you say yes or no as to whether or not they're going to admit them. Faith says, I'm still out here. You didn't lose me. Faith, that is good to hear. I would love, I'm ready for your course. We're all ready for your course. I'm dying to see what you put out into the world. Um, okay, so you, you get a link. Where you get a link to enroll in your course that you could share anywhere that you want. Um, let's see here. You can, you can collaborate with people, so you can invite people in as like guest speakers. I'm going to let you go in here and mess around. I mean, I just discovered this last night, but I just literally in about five minutes, I set up the framework for these two courses, and I am definitely today, this afternoon, I'm going to be putting all of my free mini courses here. Um, and I think with this Twitter for Business, what I'm going to do is... Um, I am going to create an abbreviated Twitter course, and what I'll do is in the last module, I'm going to let people 
Uh, I'm going to steer people over to my Bird Nerds course, which of course is a comprehensive course about Twitter. And then if you see over here on the right, it says invite a course contributor. So this is where you can bring someone else in as well to author the course with you. So I'm so excited because of what this means in terms of visibility. You know, um, one last thing about courses is that uh, online courses are here to stay. It's just a fact. And let's see, what is it? I think last year it brought in, they brought in almost $200 billion online courses into like the world economy. A hundred billion. And fifty billion dollars, maybe even more. I think that's what they projected, and then they exceeded it. I need to do a, 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 a some research on that. But think about this: LinkedIn, no, yeah, LinkedIn bought Linda, L Y N D A, the online course platform, for a billion dollars, and it's just this kind of product. It's not tires or steel or or you know, cars, it's this, and I have this, and you have this, and we all have this. So why wouldn't you want a piece of that economy that you can, you can, you absolutely can participate in this. Every single one of us can participate in this. And the only thing that is going to separate you from, you know, the person to the right of you and the person to the left of you who whose courses don't go anywhere or make any money are these little things, capitalizing on these things that you see that allow you to be super agile, okay? Because whatever, because, you know, we all have plans for what it is we want to do and it's important not to be a ping pong ball. But when you see something like this that comes across your desk and, and it's so easy and it's such a no-brainer, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Um, how many people wish that they would have started, you know, periscoping when Periscope came out and started building their audience right away or podcasting? I mean, not that it's too late, but look at nobody's talking about iTunes University because it's all like Stanford, Harvard, whatever. But you can put your course there and make a name for yourself where no one is. No one in our space is really over there right now. They're at Coursera. You know, they're at Udemy, they're they're over there, but they're not over here. And by the way, people can watch your course on Apple TV also. So how cool is that? Um, and there's another, there's one more point I wanted to make about this. Um, 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 ah, it just went out of my head. So let's see here. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. So that's it for today. We will, um, you know, what I would love it is, is as soon as you uh, do this, and I hope you all do this, then uh, put your link to your Apple course underneath this video um, because I really want to see it. And if you, you know, for those of you who aren't in my little course and maybe don't have a course yet, you saw how I just set up the course like in, in one minute, right? Just just put, grab one of your blog posts and turn your blog post into a little course and just create two videos and one checklist and just stick it over there. Um, because that'll, that will, um, that'll just get your, that will get your juices flowing, so to speak. Okay. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and, um, enjoy the rest of the weekend and I will catch you guys later. I never know how to end the broadcast, though. That's the thing. It's, like, a little bit awkward. Okay.